The Lone Ranger. with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. I'd like to read you something. The label on a loaf of Merida old-fashioned enriched white bread. And I quote, Enriched means that eight ounces of this bread supplies the following percentages of minimum daily requirement for these essential food substances. Thiamine, vitamin B1, 90%. Riboflavin, vitamin B2, 66%. Niacin, another B vitamin, 75%. Iron, 62.5%. Calcium, 20%. But that's just the outside story. What goes into Merida old-fashioned white bread is another story. A story of a rich old recipe. A recipe that produces an old-fashioned bread that's rounded at the top with a crust that's golden brown, firm yet tender, moist, and very delicious. So when you buy a Merida old-fashioned enriched white bread, read what's on it and remember what's in it. His faithful Indian companion Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you still there? A vast cedar break covered the Texas plain west of the town of Morado. Only one road ran through the jungle of dwarf evergreens, the stagecoach trail to Galen City. About half a mile from the stage road, in a small clearing among the cedars, three men crouched around a wooden box. The box held mechanism from a clock, a gun hammer, detonation caps, and dynamite. The device, known as an infernal machine, was actually a time bomb. A man known as TikTok said, Now, Pecos, you and Clip watch how I set this thing. If you're setting it to explode, I'm clearing out. No hurry, Pecos. I haven't wound the clock spring. Did you say you made two of these things, Tic Tac? That's right, Clip. The one in my shop has lots more dynamite than this one. I made this just to try out, so we're sure it'll work. Is it set? Yep. It's set to explode just five minutes after I start the clock. Seems to me this is a lot of trouble just to rob a stagecoach. Why not just stick up the stage? Nowadays, in this part of the country, they always have lawmen riding inside the stage when a lot of cash is being moved. That's how I know the westbound that comes through here tomorrow morning will be carrying cash. I don't savvy. Sheriff Enright and his chief deputy left Murano today. They rode east on horses that belonged to the stage line. I asked Bill Mason about him. He's the deputy who's been left in charge of the jail. What did he say? He told me the lawmen were riding to the east boundary of the county. There they'll board the stage and ride through Murano through this woods and all the way to Galen City. And tomorrow's stage is the one we want to rob. Right. Now I'll... No, wait wait a minute, Tic Tac. Before you start the clock, tell us your plan. Well, all right. The other infernal machine's in a chest. After I set it, I'll lock the chest and send it as express on tomorrow's stage uh, to a fake name and address. Yeah, that sounds all right. Yeah. The stage is due to leave Morado at 9 in the morning. I'll time the explosion for 11. We'll be waiting in this woods. When we hear the explosion, we'll ride to the wreckage, bust open the strong box, get the cash, and vamoose. Sounds like a good plan. If this thing works. We'll soon find out if it works. Hey, it's ticking. Let's get away from here. All right. There. Come on. The three men ran several hundred yards through the cedar break to the place where they had left the horses. There, they waited tensely. 
TikTok held a watch in his hand. Almost time. Maybe you didn't wind it enough. A couple of seconds. I hope we're far enough away. <laughs> Boys, it went off right on the second. Hey, that Wells Fargo cash is as good as ours. Let's get away from here. Going back to your shop, TikTok? No, I closed for the day when I left. I'm going home. Do you think anyone will be suspicious when your shop is closed tomorrow? Ah, of course not. Everyone knows I take a day off whenever I feel like going fishing. Yeah. <laughs> or stage <laughs> robbing. Stage. Easy there. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, riding along the stage trail north of the clearing, heard the explosion. Hoping to learn the reason for the blast, they left the road and guided their horses south through the dense growth. They reached the clearing a short time after the conspirators had left. Gray smoke still lingered near a large hole in the ground. Easy, steady, big fella. Easy, fella. That smells like dynamite. Uh, why that explode here? Oh, I have no idea, Tonto. We'll look around. In the clearing, the Lone Ranger and Tonto found several pieces of wood that seemed to be parts of a demolished box and the footprints of three men. Then, some distance from the hole, the masked man picked up a bent and twisted bit of brass mechanism. What that, Kimosabe? Part of a clock. Most of the gears and wheels are gone, but I... Oh, Kimosabe. Otto, I think the dynamite was exploded by this mechanism. You mean clock explode dynamite? At right time? Yes. I think the three men who left the footprints were experimenting with an infernal machine. Uh, why them do that? Well, I don't know. But I've never heard of an infernal machine being used for a good purpose. Let's follow the tracks. The boot marks led to the place where horses had been tethered. Following the tracks of the horses, the masked man and his Indian companion rode eastward, parallel to the stagecoach trail. When they reached the edge of the cedar break, the Lone Ranger signaled a halt. Who's in the Halt, I know the trail continues across that open plain toward Morado. That's right. You go to town in daylight? No, not while I'm wearing a mask. Uh, maybe better you wait here. Me go alone. All right, go ahead. Our friend Sheriff Enright will remember you. Tell him what we found. I'll make camp here and wait for you. Get a book, scout! It was evening and after dark when Tonto rejoined the Lone Ranger in camp near the edge of the cedar break. Oh, scout, hold on. Easy, scout. Easy, Tonto. Me lose tracks of three men, Kimasabi. And me look for sheriff. Him not in town. That's too bad. I hope we might find out something. But me see shop of clockmaker. You did? Huh? Who runs the shop? A him named Tick-Tock Thomas. Did you see him? No, him not there. Man on the street tell me, shop closed since noon. Oh. Does the clockmaker live in the shop? No. Him live in small house on edge of town. I'd like to examine the inside of that shop. I'll take off my mask and disguise myself as a drifting cowhand. Me go with you? I know, Toto. You stay here and guard our camp gear. Who's over? Who? Easy, stay now. Late that night, the disguised Lone Ranger left Silver concealed in a grove at the edge of town and hurried unobserved to the clockmaker's shop. He walked through an alley to the area behind the building, forced open a back window, and went through it into the workroom. He lighted a candle and shielded the light with his hat while he looked around. On the workbench, he saw a wooden chest about a foot square. It was addressed to a man in El Paso. The padlock on the chest was open. He removed it and raised the lid. The chest held a thick bundle of dynamite sticks, a gun hammer mechanism, and the face and works of an unwound alarm clock. The hands pointed to 9 o'clock, and the alarm was set for 11. Set to explode two hours after the clock is wound. This means tick-tock is a bomb maker. The Lone Ranger lowered the lid of the chest, then left through the window. He closed the window and was about to start away when a sharp voice called... Freeze, mister! You're covered. At a corner of the building, the moonlight revealed two men holding guns. Get your hands up or we'll shoot. My hands are up. Who are you? Bill Mason, deputy sheriff. This is my assistant, Joe Slee. And we're both quick on the trigger. Yeah. Good thing we patrol behind the buildings, eh, Joe? Yeah. 
I reckon we caught this critter just as he was going to break into Tick Tock's place. No, you're mistaken. I'm a friend of Sheriff Enright. Tell him that when he gets back to town. Meanwhile, you're going to jail. On what charge? We got orders to arrest any suspicious looking strangers. And you're one. Deputy, let me tell you about Tick Tock. Do you talk him when the sheriff gets back? That may be too late. Uh, tell me this. Have you ever heard of the Lone Ranger? No, and we're not going to waste time talking. Take his guns, Joe. This hombre's going to jail. Toto maintained an all-night vigil, waiting for the Lone Ranger to return to camp. In the morning, hoping to learn what had delayed his friend, he rode into town. At the shop of the clockmaker, he found the door locked. He was looking through the front window when Bill Mason, the deputy sheriff, approached and said, What are you doing there, Injun? Me, look for TikTok. Well, you two ladies come and gone. Oh. Well, where him go? He said he was going fishing, that's all I know. You say him come to shop? Yeah, but only long enough to get a box he wanted to send out in the stagecoach. He took it to the station and rode out of town with a couple of his friends. You know when Sheriff Enright come back? And there's the stage. I've got to get over the station. Have to make sure there's no owl who's hanging around. Tonto watched the stagecoach brought to a halt at the station diagonally across the street. The drawn window curtains prevented him from seeing Sheriff Enright and another lawman who rode inside. But he saw several articles of express lifted to the top of the stage, where within guardrails, other baggage was packed. Then the stage was underway again, heading west on the trail that led through the cedar break. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Ah, the good old days, back when people were old-fashioned and the things your grandmother used to bake were fresh and piping hot. Well, at the Marita Bakeries, things haven't changed much over the years. Like Marita old-fashioned enriched white bread. There's a seal on every loaf that says, Marita guarantees freshness and is sold fresh through day shown on the twist tie. Maintain freshness by storing at room temperature. And when Marita says old-fashioned, it means it's made from a rich, old-fashioned recipe. And that means it's fresh. The idea of fresh anything, especially fresh bread, has been around for a long time. But folks forget what really old-fashioned freshness tastes like. That's why there's Marita. Marita enriched white bread. It has a freshness and taste that hasn't been around for a long time. That's a fresh idea that's very old-fashioned. Now to continue. Continuing his search for the Lone Ranger, Tonto rolled to the end of the main street, then started back in the opposite direction behind the row of buildings. As he was passing the back of the jail, he heard a bird-like whistle. Oscar, Oscar. He saw the face of a man close to a small barred window and recognized the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger made signs that Tonto understood. Easy, Scout, easy, fella. Leaving Scout behind the stone building, the Indian hurried through an alley and entered the jail office. Joe Slade, seated at a desk, said, What do you want, Injun? Looking past the deputy's assistant, Tonto saw the Lone Ranger locked behind a barred door. I said, what do you want? I'll show you. Hey! As Tonto rushed forward, the lawman leaped to his feet and drew a gun. Before he could raise the weapon, his hand was gripped by the Indian. Let go, you red farmer. You let go a gun. Not a chance. Slade fired once, but the bullet went harmlessly into the floor. Then Tonto used his fist. It was a knockout blow to the chin. As Slade fell, Tonto kicked his gun into a corner. Good work, Tonto. The key to this door is there on that wall. Uh, me get him. Me let you out. Keep an eye on Slade. Uh, me do that. That shot must have been heard. People will be coming here. There. Door open. Where are your guns? In this desk drawer. Where's Scout? Behind tail. We ride double to the woods south of town where I tied silver. Hey, what's all this shooting about? Hey, how did you get in here? Out of our way, Mason. That takes care of him. Come on, Tonto. Leading both lawmen where they'd fallen, the Lone Ranger and Tonto ran through the alley and mounted Scout. Easy. Get him up, Scout. (laughs) 
moments later, Scout neared the place in the woods where Silver had been left. Easy, Scout, easy, fella. There, the Lone Ranger leaped to the ground and shouted, Keep going to our camp! Get him up, Scout! Get him, fella, easy. Come on, Silver! In camp near the edge of the cedar break and south of the stage trail, the Lone Ranger changed from his disguise to his own clothes and mask. As he told about his capture. And I realized there was no use trying to talk to that deputy. He wouldn't listen to a thing I said. Uh, you tell me their bomb in shop. Yes. It was in a black wooden box about a foot square. Kimasabi. Yes. TikTok send box on stage this morning. Did you see him? No, but man say him leave town with two other fella before stage come. But me see box, like you say, put on top of stagecoach. Otto, I heard the stage leave Morado at 9.15. That's right. If TikTok wound the clock at 9 and left the setting unchanged, the dynamite will explode at 11 o'clock. And then the stage should be close to the canyon in the middle of this woods. That's right. We must overtake that stage. Kimasabi. Yes. Look to town. Men come this way. Looks like a posse. Them after us? Probably. We'll not wait to find out. Easy, steady, big fella. You ready, Tuttle? Be ready. Monsieur! Let's go! Lone Ranger and Toto quickly outdistanced their pursuers. When they reached the trail, they had no idea how far ahead the westbound stage might be. Their one thought was to overtake it before the fatal hour of 11. Monsieur! Meanwhile, the six horse Concord coach rolled rapidly through the jungle of scrub cedars. The driver, Speedy Wheeler, sat alone on the box. But inside the stage, there were five passengers. Three of these had boarded the stage in Morado. The other two were Sheriff Enright and his chief deputy. Uh, what time you got, deputy? Uh, 10.55. Mm-hmm. Well, in a few minutes, we'll be rolling right along the rim of Cedar Canyon. Then you'll get a mighty fine view. Get along there! Come on! It was 10.56 and a half when the Lone Ranger and Toto dashed around a bend in the road and caught sight of the stagecoach. There it is, Toto. Come on, Silver. Faster, big fellow, faster. Get him up, Scout. Silver threw away from Scout and gained on the stagecoach with each mighty stride. All right, big fellow. At that moment, Speedy Wheeler, the stage driver, looked back and saw the oncoming masked man. He cracked his whip and shouted... And now who is chasing this? We're being chased by a highwayman. Get up there. Come on. Get there. 10.58. The lawman inside the stagecoach heard the driver's yells. They drew their guns and leaned out the windows to look back. Sheriff, a masked man. Yes, I see him. He's gaining on us. He's less than 50 feet away. I'll try to stop. Hold on, deputy. Hold your fire. That man's no outlaw. He's the Lone Ranger. Get up. Get out of there. Come hey, driver. Driver, there. slow down. He can't hear you, Sheriff. 10.58 and a half. The Lone Ranger drew alongside the stage. Standing in his stirrups, he gripped the railing around the baggage on top of the stagecoach. Driver, slow down! Not on your light, you old hoot! The masked man kicked his feet from the stirrups, then drew himself to the roof. Slow down! I'm a friend! Sheriff! Sheriff, get the crook! He's up here going through the baggage! 10.59. Crouched on top of the swaying coach, the Lone Ranger searched through the pile of baggage. Crook. If I had a gun, I'd get you. The masked man hurled trunks and boxes over the side in a frenzied effort to find the fatal chest as the last few seconds ticked away. This is it. Ten seconds to go. The Lone Ranger picked up the black chest and threw it over the side and into the deep ravine called Cedar Canyon. Oh, steady there. Steady. Oh. The resounding blast frightened the horses, and while the driver struggled to hold them under control, the Lone Ranger made his way to the seat and seized the reins. Hey, I'll take charge of the team. I'm cutting off the road. Hang on. Up there, up. Down to the hurry. Hey, where are we going? Look out for the tree. Shake a line. Hang on. As the horses turned into the evergreen jungle, the shouts of the men inside the coach rose above the sound of cracking brushwood. When the stage was some distance from the road, the masked man drew rain. Ho, 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 ho! Toto joined the Lone Ranger and the others who stood beside the halted stage. The masked man explained how TikTok had made and shipped the infernal machine. Then the sheriff said, He must have been after the money in the strong box. That's what I think, Sheriff. A murdering polecat would have killed us all to get it. Yeah, it'll be hard to prove anything against him. 
You any ideas? Oh, yes, Sheriff. That's why I drove the stagecoach into this woods. I don't savvy. Tick-Tock and his partners must have been waiting near enough to hear the explosion. If so, they'll come looking for the wreckage. They'll undoubtedly do some talking. Yeah, that's right. If we hear them, we... Stop yes. We hear horses. I hear them, too. Sheriff, let's get closer to the road. It's a good idea. Come on, deputy. I'm with you. The Lone Ranger, looking through a screen of evergreens beside the road, said, Three men are coming this way. Is one of them TikTok? Yes. The others are known as Clip and Take. Oh, 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 oh. The noise came from about here, boys. I don't see the stage. Maybe it was blown into the canyon. It might have been. I had a powerful lot of dynamite in that chest. Steady there. Dismount, boys. We'll look into the canyon. Right. Dismount and keep your hands away from your guns. Master. You're covered. The sheriff. And his deputy. We're all here, you pole cat. What's this mean? It means we've got you cold, TikTok. What? We heard all we needed to hear. You're going to jail for attempting to blow up the stage what? and attempted murder. I'll disarm him, Sheriff. And while you're at it, handcuff him. Right. Now, wait, Come Sheriff. On. Listen. Save your breath, TikTok. You and your pals are through. Well, Sheriff, you'll not need Toto and me. Well, not now, thanks, mister. You've done your part. I think a posse is after us, Sheriff. Perhaps you'll tell them who we are. You bet I'll tell them. Uh, yes. Your right, Toto. I'm sure obliged to you, mister. So am I. I owe my life to you. Glad we could help. Adios. Good Good bye. 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 Come on, fill it. Oops, come. Sheriff, that masked man. Tick tock, you're not the first crook that's been caught by that masked man. And you're not going to be the last. He's the Lone Ranger. Remember way back when, when you were a kid growing up, you always found time to make a side trip to the little grocery store down the block. That's where you'd find the big display of Mickey snack cakes. Remember? Didn't it make you happy to pick up a devil delight and take a whiff? What a chocolatey smell. And remember the coconut-sprinkled Jim Jams or the cream-filled banana flips? Well, today, Marita Bakeries still make the Mickey snack cakes you used to love as a kid. That's why Mickey snack cakes are called smile food. The bakers know they're spreading smiles and sunshine wherever Mickey snack cakes are sold. Find a little neighborhood grocery store today or a big modern supermarket. Look for the display of Mickey snack cakes. They're all there like you used to remember. The Devil Delights the Jim Jams, the Banana Flips. Treat yourself to some fresh memories. Treat yourself to a Mickey snack cake. Have a smile on us. Listen to the Lone Ranger. Are you still there? nephew was spending his summer vacation with a masked man and Tonto. Dan left camp one morning and rode the trail that paralleled the Pecos River. Suddenly, the young man was startled by a scream. Ho, ho, Mick Jehovah, ho. Dan saw a Mustang ridden by a young Indian girl gallop around the bend ahead. That Indian girl can't control the Mustang. Hang on, I'll help you. The Mustang swerved as he passed Dan, who immediately started in pursuit. Come on, Victor, come on. Dan's beautiful white horse, Victor, rapidly overtook the frightened girl's horse. And as he moved up beside the Mustang, Dan reached out, saying, Drop the reins. I'll lift you from the saddle. Hold on. Listen to The Lone Ranger, brought to you by special recording at this same time. copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Crandall Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. <laughs>